Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Just a quick update here, just to give you a rundown on the situation with what's going on with BWE. And I want to talk a little bit today about, number one, what's been going on recently, and number two, the reason that I have a problem with BWE. So, first of all, my problem with BWE is that he is an absolute narcissistic moron. And I'm just going to come out there and say that. He's a narcissistic moron. He thinks the world revolves around him. He thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. And he thinks no one can beat him. He thinks he's untouchable. Let me tell you a couple of things. From what I've heard, number one, his domain has just basically been seized. Okay? So if you go onto the Whois registry, you'll see that uh, it's got a current status code of, uh, I think it's uh, client renewal prohibited or something like that. That only happens when the registrar is investigating you for either fraud or some other type of wrongdoing okay so that's number one so i've got an itchy nose so sorry uh number two is that there are countless complaints online about how people get banned from using his software for no reason whatsoever the problem is that people are getting banned just for either using it in a virtual environment, which, what's the problem with using it in a virtual environment? People want their security. What is the problem with using a virtual environment? What, you think just because they're using a virtual environment, they're automatically up to no good? No, dude. I use VMs anyway. I use VMs myself. I use VMs, I use proxies, I use all sorts of stuff that protect my privacy, okay? Number two, he banned people for using dedicated computers for his software. Well, yeah, because there are rumours going around that you're spying on people's computers. If you had nothing to hide, you would have nothing to worry about, and you would have nothing to worry about in the sense that people are using a dedicated computer. Where is the problem with having a laptop in front of me, which I'm using for repairs, just so as I can connect it up to the console, so as I can connect up UART and things like that? What's the issue with that? What, do you think everyone's got USB Type-C extension cables, which they can just plug into the UART device whenever they feel like? No, dude, my PC is down there, okay? My PC is down there. If I didn't have these USB extension cables, how am I meant to connect the PC up to the PlayStation? What, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to carry it and plug it in down there? No, I'm just going to get a laptop, and I'm just going to plug it into a laptop. And that laptop's probably going to be some cheap-ass piece of shit that no one wants to use, that's only good for connecting up to a terminal. So, where's your problem with that? Number three is that you can't take criticism at all. We're all human. Every single one of us are human. And at the end of the day, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. Everyone does. The point is to learn from them and to be able to take the criticism to better yourself as a person. I make stacks of mistakes all the time. I'm crap at communication. I've lost customer devices, I've broken customer devices, I've done all sorts of stuff which I'm not proud of, okay? And the point is to acknowledge it and to try and better yourself, make it right. When people contact you and they ask you why you've banned the software and you come back with a response saying, what, no loss? Because they hadn't used it in six months? Why is that no loss when they paid you for the software? I'm asking you directly, BWE, email me, let me know. You can't comment on YouTube because I've shadow banned you. So you're wasting your time writing your little essays and putting your links to your own software in there because you think people are actually going to go and buy your software based on a video that I did, trying to piggyback off other people because you're unsuccessful. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's talk about where all of this stemmed from. So all of this stemmed from me releasing some software to modify the NOR flash ROM on the PlayStation 5. Now, bear in mind, I am not in the hacking scene at all. Yes, I've got a modified Nintendo Switch, I've got a modified Xbox, but I'm not in the hacking scene. Before I started working on PlayStation 5s and working with NORs and things like that, I'd never heard of you, dude. I'd never heard of you. I didn't know who you were, didn't have a clue, okay? And that's not to say that you wasn't good at your job. Everyone knows that your software is decent. It's you. You're the problem. So the issue was that I released some software for free because not everything is about money. 
and he was about to release his own software and he was pissed. He was not happy because there was a free version out there and I beat him to market with it. So he wanted to obviously make money and look, I get it. He wants to make money. We all want to make money. Talking of making money, you can buy limited edition Fuck BWE mugs and t-shirts on my merch store. Get yours today. It helps me to get money. And put a middle finger up to that prick. But anyway, <laughs> that being said, uh, I beat him to market and he wasn't happy. So he started spreading rumours around about me. He started spreading rumours about how my software is going to break the PlayStation 5. Please tell me. If you've used my software, have you ever had a problem with a PlayStation 5 breaking? Apart from accidentally floating the safe bridge once or twice? Because that's the only time I've ever had an issue with it. And I've sold thousands of replacement NOR files. Uh, NOR, not NOR files, replacement NOR chips on my website where I've reprogrammed them and I have sent them out to customers. Thousands. And none of them ever come back. I might get one or two where the programming goes wrong in Neo Programmer, but they don't come back. They don't come back. That's like 0.1% return rate, okay? They don't come back. There is no issue with using my software. And I'm not saying that other people's software isn't better. Of course it is. I'm a lone person working from his shed, running multiple businesses and a family with an autistic child. Of course I don't have time to make the software perfect. It's not my job. I'm not a programmer full time, despite my username on YouTube. I'm not a programmer. Not anymore. I fix electronics for a living. I have a family. So of course it's not going to be perfect. But it's free. Free. And that was your problem, is that it was free and it was affecting your bottom line. So when I released that software and he started making shit up, I retaliated. And I retaliated by developing some more software to read UART error codes. So we started spreading rumours about uh, around about that. Of course he did. Because it's affecting his bottom line. Because my software was free. So we started spreading rumours around about that. So I basically stuck the middle finger up to him and said, I don't care. And then all of the all of the all of the things come out about him banning people and spying on people's computers. And listen, I don't have clear-cut evidence that he's spying on people's computers. I don't, because I'm not that interested in spending all of my time chasing that dude. He's not worth my time. But people do have evidence, and people have posted evidence online about it. And you're more than welcome to search it up. You will find hundreds of people who have complained about his software, about how he has block them just because they've got a certain website open or they or he's blocked them because they they have a decompiler on their computer dude 99 percent of people who work with electronics have got a decompiler of some sort on their computer i've got a decompiler on my computer why because it's in the job description it is literally part of the job as an electronics technician to work with software and you know programming on chips and stuff like that 99 percent of people have got this software on their computer so the fact that you're snooping through their task manager to find out what they're running and going through their web history to find out what websites they've been running it's fucking creepy 100 percent creepy it's not normal dude it's not i'm sorry but that would be like me taking a laptop in from a customer getting it working and then go hmm let's see what pictures he's got on his computer it's the same thing it's the same thing it's creepy and it's weird it's disgusting it's disgraceful behavior but anyway so you've got all of that with the software and stuff like that and then he claims that he doesn't watch my videos, yet he leaves a comment on every single video when I talk about him. Yes, I can see them. No one else can. I can see those comments. And I'm not going to highlight his comments because I'm not going to... I'm not going to highlight his websites and stuff like that. Because, well, why would I? But rest assured, he leaves comments on there. And, I mean, he's posted it on his own Twitter. If you want to go over there, whatever. He'll probably block you because he blocks everyone. And only people who follow him can see his posts and crap like that i don't know um he's a very very what's the word deranged young man 
Yeah, deranged. Yeah, I think that's probably the word. Um, yeah, so that's that's the lowdown. I mean, Lee, a friend of mine from Uber Micro Repairs, can attest to it. And please go check out Lee from Uber, Uber Micro Repairs because the first video I did where I highlighted this and highlighted Lee's channel, he had taken down from YouTube. Why? Because he's got something to hide. Obviously, he must have something to hide because he contacted YouTube and he had it taken down. And let me show you the email just to prove it. Let's go over to the desktop. Discord, completely free, of course. But yeah, uh, this is the original video. It is now on Twitter. Please check me out on Twitter. Um, I've just become verified on there. I'm going to start posting on there more often. We are almost at a thousand followers. Let's let's boost that a little bit, please. Um, so yeah, th that video that I originally posted on YouTube is now on Twitter. But let's go to Gmail. Oh look, YouTube legal support. Content removed under YouTube privacy guidelines. Yeah, YouTube removed it because someone filed a complaint. I wonder who that could be. I have filed a response, so I am trying to get the video put back up, but whether they do or not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But yes, 33,000. This is just my YouTube inbox. It's it's no big deal. Uh, yeah, so I'll file the response, but whatever. But yeah, follow me on Twitter, please. And if you go to teespring dot com forward slash the coder no nope, can't find it i think it's the coder dot teespring dot com i don't know is it no i don't know i don't know how to um yeah we'll just go to that there you go there's a link i'll post it on the top in comment but uh yeah if we go to uh oh created dash spring dot com all right well there you go i don't normally do merch but there's some merch buy some give me some money please uh <laughs> anyway all good all good but yeah listen my issue with bwe is that he's a narcissistic prick and uh yeah his software should not be used under any circumstances in my opinion you can make up your own mind i'm not your dad i might be i'm not your dad and if i am you're not getting child support uh anyway but yeah Fuck BWE, buy some merch, follow me on Twitter. That's pretty much the end of it. This is probably going to be the last video I'll make on it, but hey-ho. Yeah, thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. Subscribe. See you later.